Good afternoon. Welcome to the forecast discussion for January 1st, 2021. Happy New Year out there. Well, we have some interesting discussions here that we have to cover with one winter storm coming through this afternoon and another winter storm possible by the time we get to Sunday evening. And, and admittingly, most locations along the coast pretty much just rain. However, if you're in the Poconos, northwest New Jersey, the Catskills, northern Connecticut, things are going to get a bit dicey, especially for this evening. Now, take a look at the current temperatures right now. Along the coast, we have increasing cloud cover. You can see precipitation approaching from the southwest, and temperatures generally are in the mid to upper 30s. So we're already above freezing. We're even down up, um, up into the lower 40s over southern New Jersey around Wildwood. But look at the interior. Your dew points are in the 20s, and your surface temperatures are in the lower to mid 30s, even a few mid 20s out here, upper 20s up towards Binghamton, and you have your cold air locked in. This is a concern here because with dry cold air in place over the interior, you're going to set up the potential for sleet and freezing rain, and it unfortunately it looks like it's going to get pretty nasty for this evening so if you have any plans i would strongly suggest just stay home just stay home and enjoy some movies but i would not be traveling in any way shape or form for this evening for the interior locations on the surface map you can see high pressure is in control right now but it's starting to give way but this signature here is what we call cold air damming so that cold air is building down the coastal plain out ahead of this low pressure system that's going to be lifting north towards the great lakes and that is going to drive rainfall into the region and we can see that very nicely here on the radar waves of rainfall and some of that rainfall is mixing with sleet and a little bit of snow and freezing rain so as this lifts northward it's going to be running into all that cold air now eventually you will go over to rain over the far northern interior but not before some pretty significant ice development first and accumulation on the infrared satellite picture you can see plenty of strong lifting here via what we call warm air transport or isotropic lifting so all of this warm moist air is driving into this cold air that's in place and this low pressure system will be lifting north as well meanwhile back to the west there's our next little disturbance here that we're going to be keeping an eye on that's going to create a little bit of havoc just in time for the start of our first rush hour of the new year so let's dive into the forecast first of all with our impact map for this afternoon and evening into early tomorrow morning zone one pretty easy rain that's pretty much about it zone two and three these areas are where we'll see and at the initial you might see a little bit of sleet and snow at the very very start maybe even a touch of freezing rain so most locations are expecting around a trace of frozen precipitation now there might be a moderate burst at the very start that can push you to an inch of snow on some cold surfaces or a tenth of an inch of ice but i think that's going to be pretty rare in these two zones zone four is where i am very concerned about these impacts talking about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of ice accumulation possible from allentown to scranton throughout the poconos and the catskills northwest new jersey and uh, you could also see a trace of two inches of snow snow is not really that big of a significant impact here in this uh, storm for zone four now zone five a little bit colder air so you're going to see at the initial start of this one to three inches of snow most likely most locations around that inch of snow and then transfer over to sleet and freezing rain before finally going over to rain by around midnight to 1 a.m so a bit slick and a bit stormy up here as we uh, start off our new year so let's dive into this forecast for today periods of rain sleet and snow over the interior rain along the coast temperatures rising into the mid 30s over the interior upper 30s to mid 40s along the coast for tonight on through tomorrow morning that precipitation moves through temperatures will pretty much hold at where they are and then in the afternoon you'll start to see temperatures start to level off into the 30s and 40s so Tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see sky cloud cover. High temperatures will range from the lower 40s over the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. Again, that's going to be the morning hours and then falling through the 40s and 30s thereafter. 
Then we got our next storm coming up for Sunday. Now, this storm will be organizing off the Delmarva Peninsula and tracking to the south of Long Island Sunday evening into Monday morning. That's going to lead to colder air getting pulled down towards the coast. I'm thinking right now most of the coastal plain will see rain mixing with snow at times with no real significant accumulation. However, north and west of the cities, a light to moderate snow is expected with around 1 to 3 inches of snow, I think, uh, is a good bet in these areas. But we'll fine-tune that and have a public map out later on this afternoon once we get more data but again this low pressure system will be moving along at a pretty steady pace look for temperatures on sunday to range from the upper 20s to lower 30s for lows and mid 30s to lower 40s for highs on monday the storm exits some rain and snow showers in the morning followed by clearing skies look for temperatures on monday to range from the lower to mid 30s for lows and mid 30s to lower 40s for highs on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, high pressure and complete control with sky or cloud cover. Look for low temperatures to range from the mid to upper 20s over the interior, upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid to upper 30s over the interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast. And then on Friday, we'll watch this low pressure system and see how it develops as it has the potential of producing widespread snowfall throughout the region look for lows in the lower to mid 20s and highs in the lower to mid 30s that is your forecast discussion for today of course i'm your meteorologist stephen d martino and as always stay safe out there